Hello and welcome to the 14th video in this series, Programming HS Engine in JavaScript. So in this video, very simple video, we're just going to implement the function to allow us to set any FEN up via the uh, GUI. First thing I'm going to do is I'm inside main, and inside init fang, uh, files ranks board, I'm just going to delete this stuff that's being logged to the uh, console here, because we don't really need it anymore, that was a couple of videos ago at least. And now at the moment you remember the, when um, the document's ready we already pass in our starting FEN and print the board to the console. And now what we want to be able to do is inside the actual GUI itself, if I just bring it back here, we want to be able to put an FEN inside here, click set position and that then sets that particular FEN up on the console, which means we need to do a tiny little bit of styling and this is not in no way a tutorial over web styling I'm just going to be building the simplest GUI possible like the one that's provided as the example for the whole series so please don't expect any miracles here so into our index uh, I've got uh, I'm going to add in a link at the top to um, add in a link to styles.css and I'm just going to put that in exactly the same folder that the index.html is as well. And then I've created a new JavaScript file in the JS folder called gui.js. So if you remember how the folder structure was, you can see at the top here in the bar that we have indexes inside, so chapter 14 here. And then inside chapter 14, I've got a subfolder for JS, which is where all of the JavaScript is. But the styles in the HTML file will stay just in the root folder of the directory. And also here you can see that the JavaScript files are being accessed in the JS folder. OK, so what we need to do is, first of all, I've made this GUI, and I want to add now above main a link to this GUI.js, which I've done here. And now let's do the styling first. Inside index, we've got the fen div. It's fen in div itself, and then fen input in input here. And I'm not going to do too much detail about HTML because I'm not a web design expert. I'm a C programmer at heart. But I just dropped some styling in to make the things look slightly different here. If I now go back to the browser and reload this, you can see now that we have a slightly wider fen box and things are spaced a little bit more just so that we can put a full FEN string in here. So the last thing that remains to do is just to use a little bit of jQuery to actually get the FEN string when we click our set FEN button. And we'll do this inside GUI.js. And it's very simple, I don't know how familiar you are with jQuery, but it's pretty good stuff. We just get our set FEN using the hash as the ID here would be a dot I think if it was a class and on click we make this function here and we use this val here to get the value of whatever's inside this FEN in here which you remember is the input so we use val to get its value inside there which will be the string and then we'll call our parse FEN function on that FEN string and then print the board to the console so that's all we need to do it's all being well because we're on the realm of untested code once again here. I've prepared a, I'll just refresh this, and there's just a file here from this win at chess. I'm just going to take a couple of arbitrary FENs, paste that one in here, set the position, and you can see here that the position has printed to the console. I'm just double checking that everything looks okay. Let's take something that's a bit more mixed up. I know this position here. And let's scroll, look down on the console, yes, and everything looks to have set up OK there. So the first part of the program here is actually done OK. We can put in an FEM position, click set position, then that FEM position is set up appropriately on the internal board and it prints to the console. So that's it then for this video. The next video we've got one more little thing to do, and that's to set up the piece lists again. And then we can start actually looking at the internals of the program and generating moves. So thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.